I got into photography pushing 12 years ago. I got into it kind of like by mistake, like being, as, you know, being a professional photographer. I always like taking pictures. Like I never thought about photography as like a career or like a profession. You know what I mean? Because I didn't, I didn't know many photographers growing up. But I didn't see anybody doing it in a way that I thought was cool. So Perspective Baltimore, I created it a street photography that encourages creative writing. So you look at the picture or they look at the picture and then they write how the, the picture makes them feel or if any memories, if it brings up any memories, which it'll tell you a lot about the child without having to like ask them a thousand questions. But it's an opportunity for the, the teachers to um, collect data on their students. And it's also a way for the students to just have that sense of um, freedom and openness in the classroom. Getting into the school system was um, unbelievably easy so far. And it's because I, I have certain relationships already with them through doing photography. Once they found out what the book was about, like certain teachers had me come in and work with their classes. And then word spread and then it turned into like an ongoing thing. It is challenging getting to know the students, especially when you're not giving them a grade. You know what I mean? Like if a grade is is hovering over your head, you're gonna you're gonna pay more attention, you're gonna take it more serious. So I have to do a different approach. I have to like get to know them, find out what they like, and individually get them to do what I want by getting to, by knowing. Them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like the same how you saw me interacting with them in there. I try to individually go to each one of them and show them some attention. And then they get more comfortable with me and then I can learn more from them. Mm -hmm. And then that, that allows me to be more effective with my career. When I was younger, I had, and even, even to this day, I have a hard time like expressing and explaining myself. And like photography really like gives me that outlet to like get stuff off my chest or like to just show my point of view or show where I am in, in my life you know what I mean giving giving the kids the opportunity to be creative in a, in a different way and I'm starting a summer camp this year called Youth Perspective Baltimore Camp and I'm taking 10 youth between the ages of 13 and 17 I'm providing them with cameras um, it's totally free and it's three days a week. I want to teach them exactly how I learn how to shoot. So the first, on Mondays, we're going to go out and shoot. On Wednesdays, we're going to solve any problems, any issues they have, do our research. And on Fridays, we're going to go to like historic landmarks in Baltimore and one, record what they see, and two, teach them a little bit about their city. So at the end of this cat, um, they should be able to know how to to run a functional photography company. Like I'm gonna be teaching business skills, branding, I'm gonna be in, um, introducing them to people that are in the same field that do different, you know, I mean, that do the same thing as we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, basically just giving them the experience that I had, but in a five week period. I just, I, I feel like, I feel like Baltimore needs more arts. Like we need, we need, we need more real people out here telling the real story. You know, we have a lot of fake news going around, and the only way to get around that is by putting out the real news. And media is video and photography and newspapers. You know, so mm -hmm. and just a way for them to have something to fall back on. Like you know, it's just, it's a way to make some extra money, mm -hmm. and I'm sure they can use. Thank you.